Hello and welcome to yet another exciting episode of the talk show. Lots has been happening in the world of motoring. Taking you on the journey, I'm Suri Smith. Do buckle up because it's time to get this adventure started. Coming up on this show, we test out the super sexy Honda Type R and meet its rivals. We also show you how to remove dents from your car and we chat R90 Urban GS. The Honda Civic Type R is a hot hatch loved by many. The next generation performance hatchback was launched at the end of January 2016, billed as a race car for the road. We were intrigued and ordered one to test. Take a look at this beauty. Do you have a passion for racing? Then you might like this, the Honda Civic Type R. The all new Type R shows you just how much racing is entrenched in Honda's DNA. By the looks of its sporty appearance, this vehicle promises one exhilarating drive. I'm eager to show you guys exactly what she's made of. kilowatts of power and 400 newton meters of torque will have you reach 0 to 100 in 5.7 seconds reaching a top speed of 270 kilometers per hour lovely blend of materials on the inside you've got red suede sporty front bucket seats and which are very comfortable if you're going to be traveling long distance in this vehicle you definitely will be comfortable with in terms of seating position they are manually operated so you do have to set your seat to your desired uh, position manually. You've got electric windows front and back and you've got nice fold away side mirrors so when you park that's a nice feature to have. It's got a nice sound. <laughs> it's like the car sneezes every time you go fast. It's got a really really nice sound it, and do you know uh, this vehicle looks very low profile so you are quite nervous jumping into this vehicle for the first time it can be quite intimidating but the moment you get used to the 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 way the vehicle is seated like how low you are on the road you can see enough over the dash you you actually are in a really really comfortable position to be driving and you do adjust really quickly and then once you've adjusted it becomes normal so you kind of it just becomes a fun experience guys it really is a fun car to drive on the open road 
Uh, it's very bumpy because the suspension, is, like I said, is quite low, so it doesn't really absorb any of the bumps in the road. You do feel every little bump that you, you drive over, so that is something that can be quite frustrating if you're not one for bumpy roads and feeling it. But I mean, if you're going to be buying a car that's a racing car, you know that you, you kind of know what you're going to get. It's not. It's going to make you smile. That's what matters, guys. Especially if you press, press the plus R button, which then will make the vehicle even more responsive and even faster to enjoy. You are reminded that you're driving a fast vehicle with your red seat belts and the red line and the red uh, leather on the steering wheels, nice red stitching on the bucket seats. So you do know that you're driving a sporty car. This vehicle is a six-speed manual transmission. Uh, it, it's not available in an automatic transmission and it's got a nice standard handbrake. So if you're gonna be going on the track, Drifting is a must, and you'll definitely be able to do it in this vehicle. So you've got a multifunctional steering wheel where you can operate volume levels and also your cruise control through. Um, then you've also got your speedometer and also how your fuel gauge and um, also your temperature gauge behind that you've got another screen that is it looks very futuristic it looks like you're in a spaceship it actually shows you how fast you're going and then also um, it shows you the menu of um, how much uh, fuel range you still have left and also um, the time and so forth. Very, very nice layout. You've got nice touches of carbon fiber coming through a little bit of uh, plastic. And um, apart from that, you've got nice sleek aluminum knob and uh, pedals, as well as the silver coming through on the door handles. Uh, this specific vehicle does have Isofix mountings, so you could use it as a family vehicle. Um, Legroom and headroom space at the back will be quite limited due to the large seats in the front and also the vision from the back will be quite limited of the road. Um, again, with the sporty bucket seats, it will take away from that. But this vehicle has a lovely sound system so the, the, your passengers will be entertained which is it's quite awesome. You've got uh, automatic climate control, so um, you've got dual climate control your, your passenger can choose their desired um, temperature and you can choose your desired temperature, which is quite amazing. Very, very responsive. Um, and when you cornering, this vehicle is glued to the road so you do not feel like you're losing traction. Very, very comfortable vehicle to drive indeed. But definitely more suited for the racetrack. If you're gonna hit a pothole in this vehicle, tickets. Tickets! <laughs> within the cabin is really good. You've got two cup holders in the middle, you've got nice cup holders on either side and also you do have some storage compartments in the back. So storage compartments will not be limited. You've got a nice vision all around even though you've got bucket seats you can still see over your right shoulder and the wing does take away half of your vision through your, your back mirror but you can look through it and still see what you need to see so it's not that much of a problem. vehicle is definitely a looker. If you're going to be traveling in this car, be prepared for some onlookers and people taking photos and pointing to your vehicle. Definitely a safe vehicle to drive. Oh, that, I mean, that was just a bump in the road, guys, and I got such a fright. Definitely a safe vehicle to drive. It's got airbags, front and back, even curtain airbags, front and back. So 
in terms of safety, you, you definitely will feel safe travelling in this vehicle. The torque kicks in and it pushes you to your seat. I mean, let me show you guys. That's just in fourth gear. From third to fourth. approaching an object at the front, your sensors will be warning you if you are about to collide with something. Apart from that, whenever you put the vehicle in reverse, it's got reverse cameras, which is also really, really nice. Just a help, added help that's much needed sometimes. A vehicle with a sporty nature like this that is super safe to drive, will it put a dent in your pocket? Well, with a base price of 615900 you decide. Now we like to keep you the consumer up to date on all your options, so if you are in the market to buy, let's see whether any of the beauties bumping head to head with the Honda Civic Type R catch your fancy. Starting with the star of our show, the Honda Civic Type R, which has a starting price of 615900 Sporting a four-cylinder turbocharged two-litre petrol engine, the Type R reaches a top speed of 270 kilometers per hour. Average fuel consumption will be low at 7.5 litres per 100 kilometers, and you will love the fact that it comes standard with cruise control as well as six airbags for your added safety. You could also opt for a Ford Focus RS, which has a starting price of 699,900. Its 2.3 litre turbocharged petrol engine pushes out 257 kilowatts of power and 440 newton meters of torque, reaching 0 to 100 in 4.7 seconds. The RS has a claimed average fuel consumption of 7.7 .7 litres per 100 kilometers, which won't break the bank too much, and you get six standard airbags. Then there's also the Mercedes-AMG A-Class A45 4Matic, which has a starting price of 773,914. The cheeky A45 sports a 2-litre turbocharged petrol engine with automatic transmission, sprinting from 0 to 100 in a mere 4.2 seconds, consuming on average a claimed figure of 7.3 litres per 100 kilometres. The stylish AMG A-Class has a list of standard safety features, one of them being six airbags with the option of adding two more. Lastly, you could take a look at the Volkswagen Type R, which has a starting price of 647300 The Sportster houses a 2-litre turbocharged petrol engine with automatic transmission, which reaches 0 to 100 in 4.6 seconds, reaching a top speed of 250 km per hour. Average fuel consumption will be low with a claimed figure of 7 litres per 100 kilometres. You will also feel safe knowing that it comes standard with 7 airbags. Removing a dent from your car can be quite costly, especially if you're taking your car into an auto body repair shop. Alternatively, consumers can remove some dents at home using some common household items. Take a look at how it's done. Three easy ways to remove dents yourself without ruining the paint. Use a plunger. Just splash some water on both the plunger and the dent and start pushing and pulling until it pops out. Make sure to use a cup plunger for sinks, not a flange one for toilets. 
Use boiling water. For plastic bumpers, even if you attempt to take off the bumper, it might still be difficult to push out the dent because of how stiff the plastic is. Solve this issue by boiling some water in a pot and throwing it on the dent. As soon as the water has been poured, reach behind the bumper and try to pop the dent back in. Thanks to heat of the water, the plastic should be a bit more flexible, making it easier to put back into place. Use a hairdryer and compressed air. Start off by heating the car dent with the hairdryer at its highest temperature, which will expand the plastic of the car. As soon as it is hot enough, grab the can of compressed air, turn it upside down and begin spraying that same area. Since the cold air will cause the plastic to contract, the dent will pop out. It's now time to take a short break, but do stay tuned for more motoring action when we return.